now that we covered that, and like I mentioned too, it's hard to really just bring people straight into, okay, here's how to get clients. Because I'm sure people had questions on, okay, what do I offer? What should I charge? Should I you know, charge high prices or low prices? How do I find my niche? So that's why I wanted to cover the foundational piece initially. And I think we'll have a Q&A at the end. So if you guys have any specific questions about your offer, your niche, things of that nature, I'm sure you can ask it at the end. But now we're going to move into phase two, which is actually client acquisition. So I'll go over the different traffic sources, what is traffic, and just keep it very simple and very general, but really tell you how can you start generating sales and start generating clients. Right, so that's the next phase I'll be going over. Um, so in terms of the first step of phase two, like I said, just to keep it simple, really for client acquisition, meaning you generating clients and sales, therefore income, you have two facets. You have marketing first, and then you have sales. The goal of marketing is to bring awareness around your company, around what you offer, and generate leads. And a lead is basically an interested prospect who reach out to you wanting to learn more about your service. And so that's the goal of marketing. Then the goal of sales, and this is where sales comes in, the goal of sales is to then take that lead and convert them into a paying client. And that's really the general overview of client acquisition. I just like to start off with that simple uh, overview because, again, people try to overcomplicate it. You know, how am I going to get clients? How are they going to pay me this much? What exactly do I do? So I'm definitely going to dive deeper into it. But again, the general overview for you to get clients is to generate interest and generate traffic on the marketing side. Then convert that awareness and convert those leads, that interest, into sales, into income, into paying clients. So to start off on the marketing side, what you need to start off with is looking at Okay, how can I generate traffic? How can I generate people to visit my website, visit my funnel, visit my landing page? So with that, you have two different methods. You have organic marketing, and then you have paid marketing. So organic is similar to what Denzel does with his YouTube channel. Right? He doesn't have to spend any money to be on YouTube, per se. He just spends money, of course, on the equipment. He spends the time making the videos. So over time, he's been able to build up his YouTube channel and that's how he gets in touch with you guys, you know, people watching this video, and YouTube is the medium. So he posts the content, he creates it, YouTube then connects him, the content creator, to you, the audience, and of course the audience then sees his links in the description, and they join his email list, and then that's how they can then convert into an actual client. That's Denzel's case. And of course you have Instagram, you have Facebook, you have YouTube channels, you have Twitch, you have TikTok, there's all these different organic mediums, but the only downside to organic, because the pro with organic is, again, it doesn't cost money, it costs time. But the con of it is it's very difficult to see consistent results in a predictable manner. Meaning with Denzel, you know, how long did it take you, Denzel, to start to see real traction with your YouTube channel? After doing it for six months or nine months, or yeah. Yeah, for you, how long did it take? Definitely nine months solid before I even mm -hmm. started seeing a consistent like leads amount you know yeah. like one to three leads a day you know at, at first it was crickets it was every mm -hmm. now and then and then you know even today like now I'm starting to see the explosion this mm -hmm. is two years into it now I'm seeing mm -hmm. the explosion yes so that is a con that it will take more time mm -hmm. but the benefit of it is it doesn't really cost you the barrier to entry is not that mm, much. High. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And that's the thing with Denzel. It worked for him. But again, like he mentioned, he didn't start to see real traction for nine months. Now it's him putting out videos very consistently. You know, not a video a week, not a video every other week. He was putting out videos very consistently. So again, it's a lot of time, a lot of effort. But like he mentioned, low barrier to entry it doesn't really require money to start. But again, he started seeing the real explosion two years down the road. And that's not a guarantee, right? With YouTube, it definitely you know, takes a certain type of person, a certain personality, a certain look, a certain niche, where everything aligns and that channel starts to grow. And again, not saying you can't, but the downside is, again, it's unpredictable, it takes a lot of time, and it's not a guarantee that you're gonna see results with it, you're not gonna see growth with it. Um, that's not a guarantee. So that's kind of the organic traffic side of it. Now with paid marketing and paid traffic, there are a few different pros and cons. The pros is that you can control it. It's scalable. 
You don't need any content to get started. You don't need to spend any time and effort, you know, launching a channel or launching a TikTok or launching an Instagram and not seeing results uh, quickly. And the biggest pro I feel is that you can get results fast without having any background or even really any tech ability, any content. Because you could literally, and I've had clients do this, launch their Facebook ad. I'm sure you guys have heard of Facebook ads. I'll touch on those today. I've had a client launch his first Facebook ad ever for a brand new offer, a brand new business model. He launched it. He spent a hundred bucks in a few days. And after three days, he closed a $5,000 client up front on the first call. So again, results do vary. I'm not going to say that that's the regular type of occurrence, but that just shows the power of it. He didn't have any YouTube channel, didn't have a big following, brand new offer, brand new business, brand new niche. But with Facebook ads, he put his offer in front of his target audience, you know, his niche, and Facebook was the medium. But again, he did have to pay to put his ad, to put his offer in front of that target audience. So I'd say that that's really the only con is that you do need money, not a lot, but you do need money to advertise on a platform like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or Google. So again, really the main difference with paid traffic is that you can see results fast. You don't need you know, content base. You don't need followers. You don't need to build, to build a channel. And again, you can see results fairly quickly without spending a lot of money. And again, the only con is that you do have a bit of a barrier to entry because you are having to spend money to go on Facebook ads, to use Instagram advertising. Um, so those are two different traffic sources. Um, but again, Denzel, he was able to really grow through organic traffic. But how I help most of my clients now, and that's how I was able to scale as well, is through paid traffic. Right? Not, like I said, I'll dive further into that later on in this training. But um, Denzel, does that make sense in terms of, and if you have any questions as well, for organic versus paid, the pros and the cons? No, I think we're solid. I took some solid notes here. We're we're mm -hmm. we're good. Let's let's definitely keep this going. I'm I'm excited right now because we're getting right. to the real thick of it now. Yes, definitely. So, yeah, that's really what you need to know on the marketing side. Um, so in terms of what I recommend for you, I recommend having a content side of it with whether it's a YouTube channel, your Instagram, your Facebook, but as a secondary source of leads. Ideally, in the beginning, that's not your main source of leads because again. It took Denzel nine months to really get traction. And then it took him, you know, really another year and a half or so after that to really explode. You know, versus with me, I really started to explode within months of launching my first Facebook ads. But again, I did have to take the risk of spending the money. Um, so that's why really what I provide my clients is not only the guidance and the support, but also the right system. Because I didn't have the right system when I started. I had to go through the trial and error of figuring out Okay, what funnel works? What landing pages work? How do I set up my ads? Right? How do I target my ideal client? Um, so that's also something as well where you know if you try the ads on your own and you might have already tried your own advertising on Facebook or YouTube, the downside is that you probably will have to spend a lot of money if you're doing it on your own with no experience. So that's what I went through in terms of when I launched. Um, I was selling you know, consulting, marketing services. And I launched my funnel and I didn't, like I said, have any prior experience running ads for myself. That's why in the beginning, it really you know, took a bit of money to figure out, again, what ads are working, how do I target my ideal client, what funnel works, and then again, once I'm starting to generate leads, how do I convert them into paying clients? And so that's what I wanna to touch on now as well. So you know, let's say you're running ads through the system and you're starting to generate leads, how do you convert them into paying clients? So in Denzel's case, he has sales pages set up where people can check out and buy his program, you know, which is great. But in Denzel's case, his traffic is a bit different because they're coming warm, meaning they watch his videos, then they go through his uh, links in the description, then they see his emails, and then for them, they don't really need to be sold to sign up. He really builds that trust through his videos. So that's another pro of organic as well. Versus paid, you'll 99% of the time have to speak with them on the phone to sell them. Because again, you don't have the content base to teach them, to build the trust, to build the credibility. 